What I want to do for this next project is show you how to work with multi-body parts, uh, such as this one. And if you look in the tree here, uh, you know, under my solid bodies folder, you'll know that you'll see that I have two different solid bodies. And so it's the two different halves of these parts. These were made by making one part from a revolve and then splitting it. Uh, also, I apologize for the audio quality on these videos. Uh, my current setup uh, on this on this computer I'm using uh, at school is not working very well, uh, uh, but the one uh, that I uh, had been using uh, seemed to do better. So we'll see if I can get this one uh, to work a little bit better. But bear with me on the hissy audio uh, for this. All right. Uh, so what I want to do is just start a new part and show you uh, how to do all this. So I'm going to start a sketch on my front plane. And just start off, make a center line here. And let's see, let's just make it construction, make sure it's coincident. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, so let's zoom in a little bit. I'm going to my uh, spline tool. I'm just going to make a spline. comes down to the origin. And let's get this side. And we'll click on its handle and make it vertical. Click on this one's handle and make it horizontal. Let's just pull it in a little bit. And then I'm just get my line tool. Let's draw over to the origin. That looks pretty good. And we'll pull this in a little bit. And that looks pretty good. And then just to kind of go ahead and populate this thing with some dimensions, I'm going to actually let's go ahead and add a dimension here. Yeah, that's pretty wide. So uh, let's make that 10. Yeah. That way I've got something established. And now I can uh, right click. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's get my select tool. Right click fully defined sketch, let it do the heavy lifting. And then here, let's just change that. Uh, that's okay. Go ahead and make that 15. So now we're fully defined. Oop, uh, I need to add a closed line on that. Sorry. Uh, let's just get my line tool. All right, now let's just revolve that. Three sixty is fine. And now I want to make a sketch uh, that I can uh, cut this thing with. So again, on this uh, front plane, let's start a sketch. I could probably have made it from the other one, but just just to uh, make sure I've got. Uh, a little bit better control over it. I'm going to uh, make it make a separate one. So again, let's get my spline tool. I'm oh, sorry, actually, let's get a line tool and make us a guideline here. And now spline. And I want to make sure it is uh, coincident uh, up here at the top. I'll come out and set a, a point here. Uh, point back here at the middle point out here and then back down here and hit escape to get out of that. All right, so let's, let's uh, do some defining uh, on this. I'm just going to leave it as is and just go ahead and right click and fully define the sketch, tell it to calculate what I want, say OK, and then come in and give my, make some changes to these so that there's some regularity uh, to all this. So let's see, right now, no, I don't want to use that as a dimension because I want to make it equal from the top and bottom. So I want to delete that. Uh, down here, let's see, let's make that one four. And now let's add that dimension. So let's say here to here. And we can make that four. And let's see, this guy, let's make it halfway. So let's see. Five, and then let's make these guys even down here. So let's see, let's make that one two. 
this one to yeah, so that's all looking pretty even. Let's take a look at the at the spline itself. Might be a little bit actually that looks pretty fairly even across there. Yeah, so I think that's going to be okay. Just make sure we're fully defined. Yeah, it's all good. All right, so now that we have that sketch and everything relates uh, to all this, and you have to make sure it, it either is right here, out here on the ends or um, up here on the top, uh, we can uh, use it to uh, split this part. So to do that, I'm going to go Insert, Features, Split. Uh, the Trim Tools, we want to pick that sketch, and then we want to cut the part. Uh, and you see down here that once I've done that, I've got two separate it's got resulting bodies, and I've got two separate bodies, these. And I just want to pick both because I want to keep both. And I also want to make double sure that I have unchecked, consumed, cut bodies uh, down here. So let's say OK. So now I should have, yep, two solid bodies up here, split one, split two. And so I've got my uh, cut uh, in there. I want to stop this video and uh, pick this up uh, in the next one.